Iraq is still haunted by the spectre of terrorism, leaving behind thousands of victims of violence. This week, top UN officials briefed the Security Council on the threats posed by a surge of foreign terrorist fighters into the world's conflict zones. Terrorist groups are spurred by violent extremist ideologies such as Daesh, the Al-Nusra Front, Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab continue to carry out brutal acts and cause profound suffering. Billions live under the control of such groups. In the Syria and Iraq conflicts alone, over 15,000 foreign terrorists from more than 80 countries have joined the fight, threatening the integrity of the Iraqi state. From the very beginning, ISIL's strategy has been obvious, to destroy the Iraqi state and replace it with a state of terror that is built on genocide, war crimes and crimes against humanity. Meanwhile, on the ground, the humanitarian toll grows. The numbers speak for themselves. 3.6 million Iraqis live in areas under ISIL control, while 2.2 million are in urgent need of aid. A giant inflatable toilet outside of headquarters did what it was supposed to do, attract spectators, break taboos, and in a humorous way, raise awareness about a very serious matter. That's right, World Toilet Day was marked on the 19th of November. Some 2.5 billion people worldwide still do not have adequate toilets, and 1 billion people still defecate in the open, leading to serious health concerns and exposing women to sexual violence. These numbers translate into so much human suffering, says Mohsin Mohiuddin of UNICEF. Child mortality, sexual violence, undernutrition. 1,000 are dying every day from something that's preventable. And that's not just 1,000 as a number. You have to think about it as 1,000 agents of change and innovation um, and, and, and change makers. That's 1,000 kids a day that could be making the world a better place from something that's so easy, easily fixable. Innovation is key to advancing children's rights. That's according to UNICEF's State of the World's Children Report, which is urging the creation of new global networks to promote innovation that benefits young people. When you see the work being done in these innovation labs around the world, you see that, that idea of the impossible, that idea of a future that's very different from the reality that we live in now. Among the innovations flagged by UNICEF is a device invented by two teenage girls in Colombia to help people with hearing impairments navigate safely through busy urban areas. The release of UNICEF's flagship report coincided with the 25th anniversary of the adoption of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, celebrated in a star-studded gala held in the UN General Assembly. Today we celebrate the wonderful progress that has been achieved over these last 25 years. But we also need to recall all the millions of children around the world. We can reach these children through new approaches, new technologies, new ways of thinking, new ways, yes, of imagining.